Okay, I'm assuming that I'm on video and I am going to uh, talk after my South African friend to say, look here. So um, we're back in Crosser, going through the Flow Studio and I've been struggling a little bit with this one. We're sending an interval, doing a mod bus reader and then we're splitting an array. And when you split the array, you have to be cognizant of your properties. So I'm going to stop the flow here for a minute so that we can look at it. So you have to be cognizant of, of, of your source and your target property. And this is the whole purpose of this exercise is to understand source and target and how your array works which for these days when you do everything in a hurry and you don't read through stuff then then you might you might get it wrong and then your body might have to say look here so um if you go into the documentation the source property is the property that contains the array and I was told by the wonderful people at Crosser that when you're troubleshooting, uh, if you put it back to default data and then do your debug, then you can most likely figure it out. Um, keep properties. Anyway, so source property and target property. So data, data, because we are passing an array from one object to the next or from one node to the next and then at the end we're going to create an array to an object to output a array of temperatures with the reference of the sensor and the reading so um of course i'm used to node red and they put the properties a little bit different, but it's the same idea. And so here we're just going to keep data, data, and split it. And then on the property mapper, we're going to keep the properties because we want the whole packet, so to speak. Um, payload is what we would say in node red terms, but then I'm going to add sensor temp reading value. So that's what you see here, down here at the bottom. Um, so I'm adding that to my array so that I can grab, I'm changing the name and the value, or we're calling it sensor, we're calling it a reading so that we can put a sensor and a reading into a temperature array. So property mapper and then we're going to, we go from split to join. And when we join it back up, we're going to join the sensor in the reading under a new array title, our target property of temperatures. So data is going to temperatures and that's all we have there. So we don't have to worry about it. And let's see underneath common. So I'll find out if I did this right tomorrow. And I probably have the answer somewhere. And Crasser is probably going to get impatient with me because I'm going to ask him a thousand questions before it's all over with. But that is the way I learn. So as uh, some people call me chatty, I don't care because that's the way you learn. Anyway, so array to object. So I join the array, I put in the array to the object and task target property. In this case, I kept the same because I had already called the temperatures over here. And then I'm going to output it as target property. And we're going to use name and value. So I'm pulling it from name and value temperature and value. I still don't think I have it right. He's probably going to correct something. But it is 
outputting a temperature. Tip two, as far as a sensor name and a value to go with the sensor, so eh, maybe it's right. Just so you can see it run. Yes, everybody likes action. Dun, dun, dun. Just thinking about it. Oh, wait. Debug results are frozen. Apparently, Toby needs to learn how to read. So, we're going to clear this out. Clear. And we're going to resume. So, look here. Dun, dun, dun. If I freeze it again. Then I can open my debug message, and this is what I was talking about. So, my completion that it read it, and this is the quote unquote data, and then we are we are flopping these the nomenclature as far as so that we get temperature of the the sensor label which is temp2 and then the reading or the value off of it is 38.2 so so that's my final array output there but I'm still not quite certain that I got it right just because I thought anyway I'm not gonna worry about it I'll check with him tomorrow and see if I pass my little quiz. Just want to share another crosser explanation and show that you can read Modbus data, split array properties, map out the properties the way that you want, rejoin them, and then put those into an object for something else to read. And, you know, it's the same thing as what we've got going on in node run again it's just a, a more commercialized package and a little bit different nomenclature um so far i think this is more powerful um but i don't really have proof of that that's just my my pending opinion before i learn more about it so all right have fun check out crosser.io and Enjoy playing with low code, no code. <laughs>